we have made it. Mm. So it's a year later and here you are. And um, I think it's quite an acknowledgement and it speaks volumes about who you are actually. Um, you know, we've seen how this process has been, there's been lots of challenges, ups and downs. Um, there has been endless reasons to pull out, you know, and yet you haven't. You've stayed committed and you've continued to give and engage. And from what I know from the people sitting around this table, you guys have really reaped the rewards. And, yeah, I really, really want to just acknowledge you. Because South Africa needs leaders like you. We need more leaders like you. So it's a real honor to have had the opportunity to work with you. And so what we're going to be doing this afternoon is we're going to be um, having an opportunity for each one of you to come up front here and to share with us your experience. And this is really about just acknowledging the learnings that you have taken away from this experience. So in that sense, actually, it's not about comparing who achieved what. It's not about that. This was a leadership development journey. So it's about how much did you raise your level of self-awareness? You know, how much have you changed? How much have you shifted? How has your school been impacted? How have you been impacted personally? Um, so everything is actually perfect. And um, we can learn from absolutely everything. And so I'd like to welcome you guys. And we can start, whoever is ready to come up front here and share with us. Here we are sitting <laughs> My partner, it's like a marriage. <laughs> I want to say our boss. Yeah, I think this has been a very interesting journey for me as a business partner. Um, I just want to share with you where did our journey really start. It started with one of my colleagues here at Consult Class challenging me on a project uh, based in Western Cape. And because they have already been involved in that, and then I took up the challenge. And, and I think they shared that with me because they have always known how I feel about education. So it was something in the area of education why couldn't why did I take part and I did that. And this course by Hendrika really sums it up for me in terms of my team. And the most important things that really um, that I took out really it is just those three things that I want to highlight. It's, it's quite a lot. The ten minutes will not be enough, so I will just share with you. What was really interesting when I went into the partnership, I went with that I know it all. And but it was a, a good, good awakening because on this journey we also learned quite a lot as business leaders. Yes, there were quite a lot of challenges that I found that you know they were quite frustrating. Why the principals are just putting up with this what we consider this things that we just deal with easily. But then as I went through the formal leadership uh, training, then things started to speak to me. The whole thing about being conscious about what motivates me and also being aware of the impact of my behavior on others, I, I started to reflect quite a lot on, on that. And I also learned that, you know, I have a choice in everything that I decide and, and I decided to take the responsibility, being in the creation mode that really stood out for me and I find that I'm still using it quite a lot. And also being mindful and uh, the mindfulness, noticing what is happening rather than reacting to it. And I started, you know, cooling down because I'm, I'm one person that goes out to do things quite quickly. And even in the partnership, there were instances where I just wanted to do everything and just take it over like I've always done it. Right? But I learned, but sometimes to the frustration of my partner because she would expect me to do things. So then I say, you have to do that part. So it's not for me. Because I'm also ready to, to pull back. And I also learned how to hold myself and others accountable and, and even the thoughts and the feelings and behaviors because it's still a journey that I'm going through and I found that it's very, very relevant. And also in this partnership, I found that I'm able to put this into practice with my partner. The frustration that I was feeling, why, why don't we just go and, and deal with this 
teacher that is causing you harassment and, and you know, but this is not how things are done. Then I started to appreciate the challenges <coughs> that the principal are doing. And then I, I brought it back to my workplace and say, it is because I'm in, in my comfort zone and I've got resources and support. What if I were to move in another environment where those things were not there and then suddenly I need to, to be in that space. So yes, it's really been, been a learning for me. And, uh, I'm going to leave quite a lot for Sylvia to mention because I think we agreed that she would talk more.